Hello everyone, welcome back to Fight Tonight channel. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. I really want to get 5000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. It's so close, thanks for support me, guys. Shakur Stevenson rejects Damon Haney's first offer of 75 slash 25 per split, but he insists he wants the fight. Shakur Stevenson has revealed that he is rejected an initial offer to fight Damon Haney next. The former featherweight and super featherweight world champion won his first fight at lightweight in April and is now calling for a shot at the undisputed king. Haney holds all four of the WBA, WBC, IBF and WBO world titles in the division, as he is a free agent after completing his three-fight deal. With Bob Arum's top rank, Haney can take his time and figure out the best option for him. However, there are huge possible match-ups for him if he stays at that way division against Gervonta Davis, represented by Oil Heyman's BBC, and Shakur Stevenson, represented by Iron's top rank. With Davis currently in jail, Davin's father-slash-trainer Bill Haney recently met with Iron. For talk again, and Stevenson was no doubt one of the topics discussed. Now Stevenson has taken to social media to explain that he is received an offer and rejected. The 26-year-old first sent a cryptic tweet in which he strongly hinted he was talking about Haney, but did not confirm it. It read, Nah, I'm not gonna take 25%, but you knew that already, be realistic. A boxing fan then replied, criticizing him and said, a contender that believed he should ace side against a sitting undisputed champion. Stevenson responded to this, confirming he was indeed talking about Haney and tweeted, get off my nuts, I don't think I'm the ace side, I just know my worth and 25% I indeed. And I didn't turn the fight down either, that was supposedly be the first author, haven't heard nothing else since. Nah, I'm not gonna take 25%, but you knew that already, little brah be realistic. In the aftermath of defeat against Tank Davis, Ryan Garcia gets his defense game up as he trains with veteran coach. It seems like Ryan Garcia is finally moving on from his defeat at the hands of Gervonta Davis in April. Until even June, the Flash King Rai seemed upset about his defeat. He occasionally took to social media to express his displeasure. For instance, he once took to Twitter to blame his promoter for not having come for his press conference after the fight. Oscar de la Hoya, however, called him out and asked him to finally move on from the fight. And now it seems like Garcia has finally started working towards his future. He has called out WQBC light welterweight champion Regis Progress to enter the ring at 130 pounds. He asked Progress to send his promoter Eddie Hearn to finalize the deal. Will he accept Garcia's challenge is the question. Progress promoter Hearn has reached out to Devin Haney for a fight. Who will progress finally fight? However, Ryan seems to have started preparing for his anyway. Ryan Garcia trains with Derek James. Flash King Rai has begun training with a new trainer, Derek James. However, James is not a novel name for the world of boxing. The veteran trainer has a star studded group of people he is training. Ryan Garcia started training under him early this year. He has changed quite a few trainers in his very short career. The names include his last trainer, Jarguzin, along with Eddie Reynoso. Under Guzin, he won two out of his three fights. However, he won all five of his previous fights with Eddie. Will Regis Progress accept Ryan Garcia's challenge? Garcia tweeted, Regis, if you want to fight, please let Eddie Hearn know. I want all that. I'm confident I can do damage at 130 pounds. So if you want to make something happen, please contact my team. That's serious. However, the tweet has now been deleted. Has Garcia had a chance of mind or is there something else he is thinking? Only time will reveal if Regis will take on Garcia or will his deal with Haney come through. However, it is going to be interesting to see what Ryan Garcia makes of his collaboration with legendary trainer Derek James. Who do you think Regis should fight? Isaac Cruz promises to impress against Cabrera to get Gervonta Davis rematch. Isaac Cruz has previously had the propensity to step up and take advantage of the big stage 
he is being president with. Cruz Star Tom originally capitulated after dropping a competitive and closed decision to Gervonta Davis in 2021 as a replacement opponent, while headlining a pay-per-view shot. The back-to-back -back electrifying KOs have Ernest Cruz, another showcase fight on pay-per-view, as the Mexico City-based lightweight nicknamed Pitbull will fight Jolene Cabrera on July 29th as the sole main event for the Spence vs. Terence Crawford fight. I'm really excited to win this fight so I can get to the next level of what I want to achieve. Giovanni is a quality fighter and he is undefeated for a reason. I'm definitely not overlooking him because he is out of this shot, Cruz said. I'm training hard as always and zeroing in on Giovanni Cabrera's strengths and weaknesses. It's an honor to be the so many bit of a fighter that will be remembered forever in boxing lore. My plan is to go out there and put on a show for everyone watching. I will be ready. One round or twelve round, however long it lasts, it's gonna be a great fight. I'm gonna put on a show against Cabrera. It's all part of my effort to close every door that Gervonta has available to escape from facing me again. I want to prove that I am the best at 135 pounds, said Cruz. I'm here to show everyone that I'm no social media fighter like someone else or else. I'm a dog, I'm a warrior and my ceiling is not even close to being heat yet. Popular American boxer Ryan Garcia commented on the words of British promoter Eddie Hearn, who had previously publicly given out an insider about his career. According to Hearn, due to a conflict with his promoter Oscar de la Hoya, Garcia decided to continue his career under the banner of Will Heyman and his BBC promotion. However, Garcia himself assured that this information is not true. Since he has not yet made a decision about who he will build his career with next. Just drop it. But why does Zeddy Hearn say that? I haven't talked about any steps yet. Perhaps he heard the inaccurate information from someone. Garcia wrote. Former interim WBC lightweight world champion Ryan Garcia continues to pick fights with the management of the Golden Boy Promotions promotion company. This time Garcia responded to the claims of Bernard Hopkins who criticized him in a recent interview for his behavior after losing to Gervonta Davies. When it comes to responsibility and self-control, Ryan behaves like a boy. We are talking about how you deal with situation of this intensity, as a man or as a whining boy who blames everyone he can, Hopkins said. Garcia responded to this attack on his social networks. I don't remember ever making excuses for my defeat. I just say that part of my team demonstrated that they were not loyal to me. It has nothing to do with the fight, only with honesty. Hopkins is trying to help Oscar. I have never seen a promoter attack to his own fighter. Garcia wrote. Ryan Garcia expects to fight for the championship title in the next fight. Ryan made an offer to fight WBC world champion in the first heavyweight Regis for Grace. Regis, if you want to fight, then please let Eddie Hearn know I won all these fights. I'm sure I can do damage in the first welterweight division. So if you want to arrange something, then please contact my team. I'm extremely serious, Garcia said. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.